Alright, this is a video test, uh, 720 by 480 I'm going to see how this works. I'm doing this on a little Vivitar HD camcorder. I tried in uh, 1280 by 720 but it really, really sucks. So I'm hoping that this, uh, in this video mode it's a lot better. What you're seeing is an 8 inch 640 by 480 panel on a, um, I forget the name of the company but Bosch owns them now. This would be uh, present day Bosch T400 medical um, uh, medical um, monitoring system sort of thing for for old people. So uh, I'm going to turn it on here. That's a white screen. And we've got a Windows CE desktop. Uh, this is Windows CE.net 4.2 there is a legal um, COA on the bottom of the machine and yeah it's asking for the USB device because I have my ThinkPad keyboard plugged into it come on and the capacitive touchscreen sort of sucks I'm gonna go here settings control panel system you can see here it's got a oh, can't really see it that well focusing doesn't really work too well on this it looks like so I'm hoping that you're able to see that there if not I hope it decides to focus I don't think it focuses though I don't think it does that oh well you can see that there ce.net version 4.2 copyright 2003 Microsoft it has 64 megs of RAM. It's got an ARM ARM 920T is what it says after that break. And I found that it's a Cirrus Logic. And the model of that particular Cirrus Logic is a EP9315. And I'm finding a lot of development or evaluation boards for it. And they all say, oh, it comes with Linux 2.4.21 as the evaluation kernel, yada, yada. It really sucks. <laughs> I can't find any information about getting Linux to load on one of these. I looked in the data sheet for this, and it said that there was, uh, you had to put it onto a, a, a bootloader or a, a bootloader, a boot ROM that's on the board itself. I've looked at the board in this, and it has both a 15-pin VGA uh, port that's unoccupied, and also a 40-pin uh, IDE controller that's or IDE port itself that's unoccupied. Looks like uh, UDMA 66 or something from the looks of it. Might be 133. Hell if I know. Uh, I've got to look at the data sheet again, but someone just gave me some insight into how to get stuff to run on this, and that would be to look at the stuff for the development boards, and do some poking and prodding around, uh, maybe contact a company or something, definitely going to put this video up on YouTube if it comes out okay, uh, see I'm, I'm holding it with my hands and it's really shaky because it's, uh, not 6.09am but 4.07am, this is the wrong date and time down here, uh, if I bring that up, yeah, it's not going to show it. There it goes. It thinks it's January 2000 at 6 a.m. on the 1st of January. So I'm not even going to go there. But <laughs> what I found is that this entire Windows uh, CE install is really, really down basic. Uh, on the flash itself, which I can't get to open by itself, so I'm going to f cheat and do file open. Uh, there is some stuff here, DVFF1, S1, and DV1, which are both DVFS and DV. I put a 1 in front of them to stop it from booting up. But if you go into DVFS1 here, yeah, that has nothing of any interest in it. Open up. We got some stuff in here. 
the turtle tool utility .exe vn startup which starts up the entire program and everything and I, I removed most of the files to make uh, space on the 48 megs of flash memory that I am uh, given to play with on this for the moment there's DST clock feature CE edit which is like an edit dot uh, it's like um, notepad but really really much uh, yeah, yeah excuse me it's much more basic so there's also a save registry thing I don't get what that is that also shows up on the desktop as a shortcut there's terminal CE and terminal CE2 what these do is they open up and I think I opened that up right and within a couple seconds it'll open up and they're pretty much uh, serial com loopback testers so I would guess that these would uh, you'd have a loopback on one of the serial comms and you're able to test a loopback to make sure that everything is okay and there's com1 to com5 so I'm guessing that's what the serial ports on the back are for um, and there's also ethernet 2RJ4 yeah, two RJ11s for modem, four RJ11s for serial, uh, two USB 2.0 ports, I found out, and they support OHCI 1.0 uh, fully and all this other stuff, I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to go into the basics of it, but it's an ARM 9 core at 200 megahertz, and I want to get Linux working on this. And I can't find any information about this on the internet whatsoever. This is probably going to be the first video of this particular thing up on YouTube uh, today, or ever, up until someone else decides to buy one of these. You can get one of these off of eBay for 60-something bucks used, and brand new or in package, uh, you can get them someplace between a uh, hundred and three hundred dollars depending on how much of an inflation uh, an inflated price you want to pay uh, and I know a replacement screen for one of these uh, currently goes for one hundred eighty dollars on eBay US and that more than likely is a uh, inflated price because there's no other sellers on eBay they're selling that screen so you can make whatever the fuck price you want up and they will buy it in this case, nobody's bought it yet. Anyway, I'm coming up on about uh, 7 minutes and uh, 35 seconds here right about now. So I'm going to cut this short. This is all I wanted to show is just the screen. It is 4 o'clock and I've got to get to bed. So I just wanted to do this real quick before I do that. And if the video quality came out good, I was going to pop this on YouTube. So if you're seeing this, then the video quality came out pretty good and I can probably use this. Probably wouldn't use this inside, more like outside shots where I'd be afraid to take my DSCH-70 out someplace. This will probably take uh, great 720p uh, footage outside or something. I'm not so sure about the picture quality, I'll see about that. I'll do a, I'll do a video quality test. I did that with the, um, the other camera, the other Vivitar that I uh, had, and still have, and actually ripped apart because I tried to quite the ticking from the RTC modules and that didn't help. So there's probably going to be a little bit of a ticking in this one, but bear with it. It's not that bad. Alright, so that's that. Uh, you got a comment, leave the comment, and I'll see you later. Or you'll see me later. <laughs>